hello lovely Aquarius this is for you if you are Aquarius Sun Moon rising or Venus Val is an Aquarius Sun aren't you sweetheart Valentine born on Valentine's Day and you are a lovely true Aquarius you can never quite tell what she's thinking she's always kind of slipping off somewhere she's always got a little scheme on her mind Aquarius as you know ruled by Uranus you are the inventors, you are the people who get the group together as a community and you're all about the whole as much as the individual but there's a certain eccentricity about you as well which is what I particularly like and why many of my friends are Aquarius. I've got Venus in Aquarius as well. So I like you guys, I like the way, what do they say? I like the cut of your jib. Okay, nice, I'm taking two overall energy cards first we have the ace of wands ace of wands excuse my creaky chair um ace of wands is obviously the card of woof it's the card of kundalini energy energy rising your sap rising oh let me turn my phone off my phone's sap is rising okay um it's a feeling of zippity doo da, want to get something done, feeling excited, feeling creative, can also be passion. I know. It can be passion, it can be that you're getting it on with somebody, that somebody wants to get it on with you, that you're feeling a little bit like, you know, spring is arising in them, their old bones. <sighs> I remember it well. And we have temperance, lovely Aquarius. We've got temperance, which is just, temperance is such a gorgeous card. It's saying that you're able to take the rough with the smooth, you're able to take negatives, positives, and kind of handle the whole thing. Just a dollop of this, a dollop of that. You know, a bad day comes, hey ho, it'll be over tomorrow. A good day comes, that's great, it'll be over tomorrow. You treat those equals just the same, okay? Let's put these two there. We're gonna look at love life, we're gonna look at career, destiny, and any channeled messages that come up for you, lovely Aquarius. Let me know in the comments section what you've been up to lately. And also, I did this with Virgo last month and I loved it. And you know, it gave me a whole list of TV programs to watch. What is your ride or die, like Netflix series that you watch when you're kind of, that you can watch again and again and again and again, okay? I'm gonna kick off. Gilmore Girls, there you go, that's one of mine. Seven series, I think, of that. Oh, let me know in the comments section what yours is. Okay. For your kind of destiny, where you're at, the feeling where the universe sees you, you've got the hermit, which is so unAquarius of you. But I get it. Your readings for the last kind of six months have been up and down and all over the place, and but quite challenging at times. You know, where I've been thinking to myself, cripes Aquarius, what is going on here? This is not your normal. And I bumped into my Aquarius friend actually on the street. Um, and we did that thing that you can do with Aquarius. Like we just had a whole life story conversation, you know, outside. Uh, outside Greg's pasty shop actually. And, oh God, love her. And she, But she'd had some challenges. She's just taking them in her stride, but by God, they were like, they were the, you know, I was like, cripes, are you all right? So you've had your challenges recently, okay? And the universe wants you spiritually to do some inner reflection, maybe physically to spend a bit of time on your own Maybe it's time to crack open that Gilmore's, Gilmore Girls box set. I know that's so old fashioned. It's actually over there on my bookshelf. I have it on, was it Netflix? I think I've got it on Netflix for streaming, but then I bought the box set in case anything goes wrong. Do you know what I mean? I will be there in the bunker with my, you know, powdered milk, my bottled water and my Gilmore Girls box set. I'll be like, coming through. I've got the entertainment, everybody. So, the universe is asking you to be very unAquarius. There's something you need to think about. There's something you need to see. There's like a, 
spiritual truth about you that's just sort of knocking on your door and saying, listen, 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 I've got something to tell you. And you're like, nah, 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 watching Gilmore Girls, no. But it, it's insistent. It was a whisper. It's now becoming more of a, you know, a sort of wise teacher voice. Then you get this card, interesting. This card, Two of Swords, it's, we've got new moon energy going on. We've got the energy of someone who's blindfolded. You've got two Ace of Swords crossing each other. So two fairly credible, good ideas crossing each other, okay? Which means that you're kind of unable to move forward because this is like almost a stalemate, but in a good way, okay? Itchy nose. So, what this means for you when you get this card is that you are processing a third way. So the way that was this way, the way that was that way, neither of those ways were gonna work, which is why you haven't taken a step towards them and you're thinking, yeah, it doesn't quite feel right. This doesn't quite feel right. And then your brain, your body, your soul, whatever it is, is making, is like making, constructing. Imagine construction vehicles and concrete pouring and frames or whatever they do sorry i've got cat hair on my top today um frames and all that jazz and however they build roads that all of that that you are doing this and then this stuff will set and you can just go the direct route okay at the moment it's not obvious and it's not right to go yet as in whatever your situation is whether it's your love life whether it's something at work or whether it's something between you and family or you and the universe, the universe is saying to you, ooh, amber, amber light, you know, amber. Never really knew what amber meant. It kind of is that in between red and green, isn't it? Where it's saying, not go yet, but don't stop. Take some time, be the hermit, consider that to be your amber light. It will go green before long okay but to move forward before it does would be a mistake i think and i think you can feel that your, your sense of timing is normally very good okay let's have a look at your career then we'll look at your love life there will be an extended reading as there is for every reading the extended reading when we get to the end okay if it really resonates with you we take the cards that really pose the most questions the tricky cards the sticky cards the ones where you think mm, i want to channel some of that we both go and get our elasticated trousers on i change to another cup of tea got a bottle of water at the moment or well, maybe something stronger depending on what happened in the reading and we reconvene it will be the first link in the description box okay work let me show you the cards as well always forget that i can do that let's try and make them so they're not wonky okay knight of swords seven of pentacles so far so worky and the three of cups this is coming up for a couple of signs actually right good these are very nice worky aquarian cards Knight of Swords is a conversation. It's something that's very direct. So uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy here, air sign energy, which is an energy you can get with. There needs to be, or there will be, or well, there already has been partly, but it will get continued. Some direct conversations, some direct observations. It could be your appraisal or a meeting that you have with somebody Either way, it's the energy of an exchange where you can both talk very frankly about how you're finding things, what you'd like to improve. Um, coming into this as well, because it's also come up and we've got this seven of pentacles here with uh, Mr. Tash here, who's looking, he's, he's standing, holding on to his hoe, and then he's considering his harvest, he's considering, and you are considering in your work, where you're at, where you've got to, whether you want to put more effort into this or whether it's time for pastures new, you know, that you want to go somewhere else, try something different, shake it up a bit. 
And then we have the Three of Cups, which is a, a gorgeous card to get for an Aquarius in any position of a reading, because the Three of Cups is all about networking, socialising, who you know. So you may find that your career is enhanced in what I call the locker room, you know, like you could be in the toilet at the gym and you bump into somebody that you haven't spoken to in ages, like I bumped into my Aquarius friend outside Greg's pasty shop, you know, and then this person knows something or somebody about a job, about something or a mutual friend. It's all about who you know and the connections you make. And as an Aquarius, that is your, what they call Roman Empire. That is your thing. Okay, that is your thing. Being direct, considering where you're at and thinking, I think you've put a lot into whatever you're doing, but I'm getting the hint or the feeling that it's time to move on. You may not agree and it's your life, obviously, but I'm getting some kind of restless vibe. Ooh, ooh, and then I pulled that guy. Oh yes, okay. Let's tuck the devil in on the end. What's that doing here, Aquarius? What is this talking about? There's a shadow side with the devil. We've got this inverted pentagram. We've got a really grim fly that's kind of trapped in it. Can you see that? We've also got the light above the head. We've got this kind of old candle. Oh, it's one of my favourite devil cards, actually, that one. I just think it really captures the essence really, really well. <laughs> nice. Um, something, there's something about holding on. There's something about old patterns. So for some of you, what is going on around your career, around your destiny, around your purpose, your life purpose on the planet, is that you are tied to some kind of old observation, some kind of old story. Okay, I'm going to take one more card for this. Then I'm going to look at your love life. Ah, oh, this is just what you want, Aquarius. So we've got the star. You want the star after the devil because it cleanses that toxic energy. Some of you may have been sticking with a job or something that you know that you shouldn't have been sticking with. You know, you you kind of feel it in yourself. You feel like it's a weak decision or like you're doing it because you're settling or you're doing it because you're too afraid to go and find something else or just some sort of, which we all have, we all have our own sort of lazy habits or our fallbacks. And I feel like you've got to make sure that you are holding yourself to account when it comes to destiny and when it comes to career and that you are and it could be in your love life too, that you are being very true to yourself and not trying to be who you were told you should be or who you were brought up to be. Aquarians, they absolutely march to the beat of their own drum. And when you do that, Aquarius, you find things will just fall into place. People throw things at you in a good way, not in a kind of bottle on the football ground way. You know, they're throwing jobs and opportunities and money and love at you because you're following your own sort of star-studded path. Shall we look at your love life? I'm itching to have a look at your love life. <sighs> Oof. Okay. Page of Wands with the Nine of Swords. Oh my God, what is going... This is what's been coming up for your love life for ages. Some of you are struggling with something or somebody in your love life. We've got the Page of Wands here, which is the energy of passion. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or someone who's a bit younger or younger at heart than you are. We've got, with that Ace of Wands as well, we've got passion, we've got chemistry here. We've got a feeling of woof and zippity doo -dah, but we also have some mental difficulties about freedom, about feeling like yourself, about being yourself, about being able to be yourself, about feeling safe in this connection and about feeling, I mean, this can be, it's what I call the 4am card. It can be jealousy, it can be overthinking, sitting up in bed at four o'clock in the morning, all those things, those usually quite useless thoughts that go round and round and round and round and round in our head. 
There's a restriction here in your love life, a mental restriction. You're second guessing something and it's interesting that we've got the hermit above. You may need to spend some time if you can Aquarius. Hermiting and finding out what this feeling is because we've got the five of pentacles next to it which is also a card of either being left out in the cold, feeling left out in the cold, feeling like you're not accepted or you don't belong or it's not. It can also be with these cards that there's been a lack of communication from somebody. You're feeling, oh, I'm getting a channel of like um, being in one of those cold rooms in a restaurant. You know, when you work in a restaurant and you have to go and get the desserts from the freezer room or the cold room. And I'm getting this whole sense of icicles and cold and being shut out. It feels like you can't access something or somebody that you want to access or need to access. That there's something... Oh, I don't even know. Let me take a couple more cards. God. Oh, wow. Ten of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. There is a way to make this better, happier, healthier, and closer to this, okay? The Ten of Cups is my somewhere over the rainbow. Mars in Pisces is the aspect for it. So Mars, rah, planet of Ra. Pisces, ah, the sign of love. I'm a Pisces, we're a bit mushy like that. It's And that causes like a psh, rainbows, glitter, unicorns, all that stuff. A union, proper union, two people, we made it is what I'm getting. So you are in a rocky patch, some rough times. There is definitely challenges here, mental challenges for you, maybe for them too, maybe for both of you, maybe just this connection is complex. I'm getting that it's complex. I'm feeling that it's complex. This is like a window. It's showing you what you could win. It's showing you where you could be. But we also have the Two of Pentacles, Jupiter and Capricorn. Two of Pentacles is a card of juggling. And sometimes juggling, and especially as we've got it with Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles above, juggling real life things like timetables, where you live, when you see each other, whether you take it from online into um, real life, whether you take it from situationship to relationship to commitment, whatever. Things need to be chucked about a bit, thought about a bit, kicked around a little. This seems like a good idea to me. If you are in an intense situation in your love life, taking some space here, being the hermit, going off to your cave, Aquarius, and just examining the message. Do you remember I said it feels like the universe has a message for you? bin lorry is going to come in a minute. Is that the message? It's like I can hear the bin lorry coming around the corner. Blah, blah, blah. It says something like, mind the gap. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah. Is this a message? You're like, the bin truck is my message. Thanks, Gemma. Thanks a lot. Just saying. Okay. Nice to get that ten of pentacles and the nine of cups. Okay. This is looking up. And the bin lorry just rounds the corner to cap it. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. I call this my meat and potatoes love card. Okay. It means something real. You need this relationship or situationship or whatever's going on in your love life needs to become something, needs to become real. Okay. This is the emotional wish card. Your wishes can become reality. Your wishes can become real. In the extended reading, I'm going to do... I'm going to take a different deck. Here comes the bin truck and do you a brand new reading, okay? A brand new love reading. Here's your love oracle card. Gifts. Love's greatest gift is the ability to truly understand each other. And I would add to that, Aquarius, that you need to understand yourself first, okay? So take the time to do your hermiting. It's not easy. I've got my Venus in Aquarius we like to look out rather than look in, but I think it's going to be important for you. Okay. Right. I'm going to go and refresh my glass. 
I'm going to go and, and I can use the decks that I can't use on YouTube as well. So I'm going to go looking in my basket. I'll see you over at the extended if you're coming over there. Leave me a comment. Tell me about your ride or die TV show. Namaste.